What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about who is the best wall denial in the game between Mute, Cave, and Bandit. So we're going to talk about the pros and cons of each operator, what they're best at, and who is the best wall denial in Rainbow Six Siege. Let's get to it. Alright, first let's talk about Bandit. So you have an MP7 as well as the M870. So this is a good shotgun, but it does not have that much range. So you're going to occasionally see people use this, but it doesn't have a really good secondary. So most of the time you're going to be running the MP7, which is an amazing SMG damage fire rate. I mean, this is what I run on it. And you have nitro cells and barbed wire. Most of the time you're going to run nitros. So let's show how Bandit's ability works. And most of the time, how you're going to be playing as Bandit. So Bandit Protect is a wall bomb. denial. Bandit at his core Down is all seconds. about keeping this Increased wall closed. So here's what I do to try to keep the wall closed. Used. I'll open up the wall like that to let the audio come through a little bit. I'll reinforce the walls like so. And then I can just leave my bandit charges down. And any hard breach will have to deal with these bandit charges to get the wall open. It's fairly easy to do with like EMP gadgets or like with like faster EMP impacts or hell even Maverick. But what you can do is you can juggle. So this is why bandit is fairly strong at keeping a wall close because I can put multiple down on the wall at the same time. So let's say they're EMP in it. As I'm putting another one down, as this one gets taken out, this one will still be good to go. So that's what I call bandit tricking or bandit juggling. Uh, you're gonna see this a lot in higher levels of play. You just have to be careful you don't get grenaded through the floor. Because it will kill you and it'll take out your bandits. So next we're gonna going to have Cade. So Cade is another wall denial, but also a little added bonus. He is also a hatch denial. No other operator can do that besides Cade. So that by himself makes him fairly strong. His AUG is not bad. No 1.5 scope, only a 1x. His gun is more than fine. And I, I'd like to run the TCSG because I, I can make rotates, make line of sight. That has a 1.5 scope. As well as a 2x. And uh, you can put a suppressor on it. It kind of functions like a DMR. And then for pistols, I like to run the, the revolver. I Honestly, the, in terms of sidearms, it doesn't have a wide selection, but I like to run the revolver just because it's easier to making line of sight. So maybe I can save some shotgun shots. You have the claw and then obviously you have nitro and barb, you run the nitro. So biggest thing about Cade is keeping hatches closed. There is a timer on Secure the area. his Keep ability the down. Ten seconds to Compared insertion. to Bandit, down to five seconds. It is a lot bomb. slower. So keeping a wall closed by quote unquote K tricking is a lot harder than doing it for Bandit. But K doesn't add a bonus. He only has two of them, but what his gadget does, you can get three walls or hell, whatever, whatever in the radius will get electrified. So, go to the middle, it takes about that amount of time, and then it's active. Boom. Now they can't get any of those three walls. They get a hatch. I mean,. You do it the same way, you reinforce the hatch and like you can throw a claw on the hatch and the, the hatch will be electrified. And next we're going to have Mute, who's probably the most flexible of the wall denial compared to Bandit and Cade. So you're gonna have a shotgun or an MP5. There's no 1.5 scope on this. Honestly, either choice is good. I prefer the shotgun because you have a decent secondary, which is going to be the SMG-11. You can run extended barrel or flash hider. And then, I mean, you have a pistol, but Obviously we're in the SMG-11, uh, so I like to run the shotgun and SMG-11 combo. You kind of function like smoke, but you are a three armor, so that does kind of stink. But then you have bulletproof or nitro. Occasionally you might run a bulletproof, but most of the time I'm going to be running that nitro. So my main job as mute is I like to make sure I make rotates for my team and lines of sight to take full advantage of the shotgun. And what the mute jammers can do, it's not just for wall denial. And, you know, I mean, obviously you can't use patch denial, but it's intel denial. So you can use these as a network to stop drones from coming in. But you can also use them to close the walls. And occasionally it will be good to close walls, but he does, it honestly doesn't do the best job at closing walls completely because what he does, his individual meat jammers can only get two walls at a time here. I'm gonna show you guys kind of like how you like kind of spider pattern this. So you're gonna do this one and two 
The hard breaches will be able to put their devices on the other side of the wall, and the second the mute jammer is gone, they can activate it. So mute is like the easiest way to like. It's not going to stop the wall too much if they actually try to like, you know, deal with it like a, a grenade over the top, or if they try to just like throw an ace charge or a Kibana charge at the top, it might be able to get some of the wall if they use it correctly. Because like, see this radius. This radius isn't going to get that corner, so they could technically open up this part of the wall and throw a grenade in. So. Mute, in terms of closing a wall completely, isn't the best, but he can close a wall if needed, and he also stops a lot of intel, and he has a lot of utility. So, who is the best operator among them in terms of clearly keeping a wall closed? Well, it depends on the wall or the hatch that you have in mind. Honestly, I'd probably go with either Cade or Bandit. Bandit if I plan on actively tricking. Cade if I plan on just leaving it on the wall and forgetting about it, and... I would go mute if I nobody else has a shotgun. I might want a little bit of intel denial with, you know, mute jammers. And uh, just trying to keep a wall closed slightly, it doesn't hurt. But in terms of purely keeping a wall closed, I would say Bandit is probably a 10 out of 10. If you're purely focused on keeping the wall closed, Bandit is the best thing to do, but you are going to be hyper, have to be hyper-focused on the wall to keep it closed by Bandit tricking. Kid, I would say it's 9 out of 10 and is a lot easier to do and you can be very safe while doing it. Band tricking is dangerous. Pay tricking or you know, okay tricking is just picking it up and throwing it back on the wall over and over. Uh, or you can just leave it and leave and forget. And they, if they EMP, like let's say they EMP impact, band is off to be the floors. Caves could be like barely touching the top. They could be left, right. Like they, the attackers are going to have to drone it out. And if they miss, then they, they won't actually be able to open said wall. So it was 9 out of 10, and it's a lot safer than banner tricking. So most of the time, we're going to see people cage tricking because, or, or just hating the wall because it is just way safer. And mute, in terms of keeping a wall completely closed, I would say is a 6 or a 7 out of 10. It's not the best, but it does work. And if you do need a shotgun player for utility, and you're also still going to have a nitro and an SMG 11 to back it up for like the longer range engagements, it's completely fine to use. Mute is a strong operator. He's one of the best operators in the game, even as a three armor now. Mute's still a really good pick because he's so flexible. You pick a mute any round and nobody's really going to complain because there's so much utility. You can close a wall, stop drones, make teams rotate, and you can kind of hold your own with your current loadout. So overall, that's my scoring. As operators, honestly, it really depends on what you are trying to bring to the table in terms of keeping a wall closed. You have to really think in every situation. Like, if there's a wall, like I showed you guys on Clubhouse's Bandit, if there's a wall, do I want to keep it closed because it will be extremely detrimental to our team if they do open that wall? Then I'd try, probably try to bring Bandit, ask my teammates, like, to bring a zombie or castle to, like, keep walls or uh, give me some defenses, maybe an ADS or a MI so I don't get grenaded while I'm tricking. Or I'll, I'll just leave, bring Bandit and just leave it on the wall so I can run around and abuse the MP7 in three speed with a Nitro. Honestly, Bandit is a fragger. But Bandit is a lot of fun to play, and, and you are still bringing some utility for your team. Cade, Cade is a little, little bit more of an anchor, and his ability is just really great on almost every single map in the game. Because he is the only one that can actually keep hatches closed. So I, honestly, just in terms of hatch closing, I mean, there's, there's no comparison for Cade. So Cade is always going to be a a must most of the time Bandit is like you can get away with some of the time if you're trying to purely keep a wall closed but Cade is like the only one that can actually keep hatches closed and it requires a lot of teamwork for attackers to actually get through a Cade hat so a Cade claw on a hatch so Cade is always gonna be a must pick his weaponry is a little rough and he's slower but uh his utility is uh, far, like hands and shoulders above the others and then mute always a solid pick but uh, Mute does, he's kind of like a red mage in Final Fantasy. Like, he does a lot, but he's not the best in anything. So Mute is a really good operator, but he's not, doesn't have the best weapon. He has good weapons. He has good utility, but he's not the best in either category, but he does excel everywhere. So, all right, guys, let me know what you guys think. Who is the best at wall denial in Rainbow Six Siege and Breach Denial? I would have to say right now, if I had to choose one operator out of the three I just listed, I would say Cade, the vast majority of the time, is going to be the breach denial that you want to bring in almost every situation because of the way that it works. It's safe. You're not going to die, and you're probably going to be all right. So, all right, guys, make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, and leave a like down below for more. 
And uh, make sure to comment if uh, you have any d agreements or disagreements or any counterpoints on anything I brought to the table today. All right, guys. Until next time.